Everybody back with a one package mail day. It's nothing big. I can give you a guess on what it is if you've watched my last couple videos, but I'll have some better mail hopefully coming in this week. Uh, this is just one eBay pickup. And I do want to say first off, uh, screw the Colts. Titans won. Took them a little bit to get it going. I don't care who they were missing. You can make up an excuse you had because the Titans team has sucked for a while and while you guys dominated us for years. And I'll enjoy this win. So, yeah, my phone was a lot more quiet, which is amazing. You know, all the years we had Vince Young and Locker and all that, Mariota even, and people just wanted to keep talking and talking and talking. And then they miss a wide receiver and a running back and, you know, the world ends. And, yeah, so we beat them in your own house. Feels good. So the AFC South is still up for grabs. Huge games coming up. I uh, got the Texans twice in the last three games in the year. Even though they beat the Patriots, it's a division game. And usually we split with them. But, um, yeah. So it's just... Uh, Easton stick lot and some people are going to freak out because there's scotch tape on here but that's okay because I will just re-top load them I only got about 2,000 top loaders in here that I think I got I need to use so anyway it's uh just four Easton sticks three base prisms and then the red white and blue and for whatever reason, uh, this Claylon Feral and another Easton Stick. So it's like a bonus rookie card. So, And I paid, oh, it doesn't say on here. I literally paid like five something and change shipped for these cards. So less than a dollar a prism. Almost, I mean, count the red, white, and blue. And Rivers, they're talking about him maybe getting benched. And he still is a third-string quarterback. But if you guys haven't noticed, and I keep saying it over and over and over, and I have for a couple years now, when I'm, I was trying to buy up every Mahomes, Watson, Prism, uh, Trubisky, all those Prisms. Then it went to Lamar and Baker and Darnold. And, I mean, I still got a bunch of Rosens. Even Allen, I tried my best to buy as many of those as I could. Not really off eBay. I put it in our group a couple times, and did it. I bought some in auctions and stuff. And I just w wanted to show you, I mean, the Mahomes prism alone. Watson's is skyrocketing. Uh, Lamar Jackson's are just insane right now for the base prism. Rookie, I think I just sold, I sold like five of them probably like five weeks ago for like $30 a piece. Now they're like 78 to 85, 75 to 85 probably right now. I mean, it all depends. We all know how fast cards go up, down, up, down, up, down. Uh, Daniel Jones is an example. Kyler Murray, you know, if these guys don't do anything. I mean, the prices will go down, but even Drew Locks are starting to rise a little bit right when he's named the starter. So, and it's weird because these guys are so cheap now that if they even get named the starter, they bump up in price a little bit. And then if they do anything, and like I said, they're not going to be as electrifying as Mahomes or Jackson, in my opinion. Those guys have that eye candy, you know, kind of test, uh, the eye test, as they call it. And they're really fun to watch. And. You know, these guys might not be the most electrifying, like him or uh, Stidham, but if they start or they do anything, I mean, who knows? Like I said, Easton Stick, he set all kinds of records in F the FCS. So, but yeah, five bucks for four of these, and then a little bonus unparalleled. So, again, I'm still buying them. So, if anybody has, and I, I got a few more because I bought. A pretty large lot off eBay that has some sticks. Uh, the Stidham Silver is coming in. I did buy a Luca base prism just to have and hold on to. 
because uh, I sold my silver one way too early, apparently. Which, that's how it works sometimes. But, um, let's see. I think I got some from Eloy. And then purple GT22 auctions should be in this week. So, yeah, pretty excited. Should be a big week. P a big PSA cards. My first Zion that I'm just going to sit on. So this is the way I've moved to. Like I said, I'd love to get rid of all this other stuff and just focus on singles for now. And, you know, the flipping game because I love it. It's just like buying and selling Barbie dolls like you guys joke around about. But, um, yeah, I guess a base little prism there. Or base uh, unparalleled card. That's a little bonus. So that's all I wanted to say. Like I said, I'm not saying hold on to every one of your prisms because you are going to sell some early and you are going to sell some too late and or, you know, buy them too late. And because like Darnold, I mean, who knows? Those could skyrocket back up. But for a while, those were like a dollar or two a piece after like the prism outbreak came out. But um, once that happened... They went up to like twelve, fifteen, sometimes even twenty dollars a piece, and I sold like twenty something. I don't even know of them. And so they went back down. Same thing with Baker. I was selling those. I had a bunch of those, and I sold them for like twenty five dollars a piece. And again, he could break out and go back up, and I could lose out there. But for what I bought them at, was a fairly good deal. So I've really focused on Prism. Obviously, we all know prisms are like the go and then basketball and uh, football now. They're kind of like the go-to uh, rookie cards to collect, especially basketball. Like I said, I got this PSA 9 Giannis rookie. Not even a silver coming from Snods. And <laughs> for being a 9 and who knows how many is out there. You shit if you like knew what was coming out or what those are selling for. Same thing with Luca. Luca's getting up there. He hasn't gotten up to Giannis level yet because there's so there's so many tens out there, which I've even contemplated buying a ten because the more and more I watch the kid and see him on Sports Center and all that, I uh starting to like him even more. They just beat the Lakers last night. And uh yeah. So I've just been team bagging all these little prisms. And again, most of this probably is going to be absolutely, uh, might not be worth anything in two years. Like I said, my goal is to just buy and sell them at the right times. So that's the way I look at it. And so far I've been fairly good at it. Have I sold cards early? Oh yeah, I have. Which there ain't nothing wrong with that. But I'm still getting a decent, I guess, return, as you'd say, on cards. Some people hate that. Some people, you know, oh, it's... Some people buy to invest or flip or whatever and blah, blah, blah. It's like, well, that's kind of how the world works, you know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I've never understood the people that are like, man, they, they're selling their cards or... You're buying from an auction to flip them or something like that. Yeah. Makes no sense. It's, I mean, it's like these cards. Like, that card alone was selling for like $40 at one time, and now it's not. So, I don't know. Again, these, especially as Darnold at 25 which I, I would think would grade really well, actually. I pulled it out. Hell, the Lamar Jackson, I sold this one for $28. The Lamar Jackson Color Burst from Phoenix, and that car now is selling for over $100. So, again, I can't predict that he's just going to absolutely destroy the league and the hobby, or, you know, which is great. I still think the Luca thing, everybody thinks it's crazy, but the kid's dominating the league. He's a front runner for MVP, and um, he won rookie here last year. Like, I don't get the Zion thing. I get it, too. I mean, if he comes out and starts, like, destroying, you know, opponents and scoring really well and all that good stuff, uh, of course, this stuff will go up, too. So, I mean, right now is the time if you're going to take a gamble, you know, and buy a 55-whatever dollar they're going for now 
base prism and just hold on to it and see what happens and who knows you know but again so the investing part and i say this with the air quotes the investing part of cards is uh 100 percent a gamble you have no i mean it's just like the prospecting of baseball like you gotta buy cards at a certain price cheap enough to hold on to them for a couple years because it's no fun holding on i just found these like randomly but uh it's fun to i don't know i enjoy it and I would love to do it full time if I could possibly do it. Like, you know, just the buy, sell, break, whatever, you know. And, um, yeah, I don't know what's in this pile. Hopefully, Will Greer gets a chance here. I got one of his autos that I've just been kind of sitting on. I only had one lock auto. But, um, what's in here? Oh, here's those Mike Whites. I think Sam was asking about one. I guess he's the backup for the Jets now. Well, he might start. Who knows? Kyle Lilletta, I even held on to some of his stuff. Just in case. I remember separating this now. Just in case this guy did anything in the league. Jake Browning. <laughs> but you never know. I'm telling you. Like, you just never freaking know when it comes to sports. And how fast. Mason Rudolph stuff. Whoop. Went way up real fast. Uh, now it's dropped back down, way down. Uh, Luke Falk was named the starter for the Jets for like a week or whatever. And all of a sudden his stuff went from dollar to dollar autos to, you know, $30 autos. And then we, it went right back down as well. So, like I said, you just never know. And it's fun. I love that part of it. There's certain cards I want to hold on to. And, which I haven't really gotten huge into like the autograph thing, like, I know it seems like I have a bunch of stuff and whatever, but I think it's more fun collecting just the typical base rookie cards and like maybe some numbered parallels than it is uh, collecting the autographs. Because the autographs half the time go cheaper than um, some of the rookie cards sometimes. Like, like I said, you can go look at a PSA 10 silver... Uh, Luca rookie card and then look at an autograph of him and you'll be like how does that make any kind of sense but that's the way it works uh, or a short print uh, Tom Brady rookie card you know the one of those that are at like 2000 or something like that go look up what those things go for I mean it's insane or the color burst Lamar Jackson I mean hell you People were trying to sell autographs Lamar Jackson for, you know, and I even sold, I sold my only Lamar Jackson rookie one that I had. Sold that for like, I don't know, $70 or something like that <laughs> for over a year. That's how it sat. And now look at it, you know, probably be about $200, $250 card right now. Just because it was Origins and stuff like that. But oh, what? I think it was. I don't even know what it was. But either way, I love losing some. I like winning. You know, I like uh, being right when I sell things at certain times, and I've been right many times. I've been wrong tons of times. Like I said, I sold a Luca Silver at ten for like six hundred dollars, and now that card's it's reached two thousand a couple times. I sold my homes almost too early, in a way, but I didn't think you know that stuff was gonna keep climbing. But I'm starting to get an idea of it now. Uh, at least about Prism and the way that they sell. Uh, Watson's I probably sold too early now. I mean, because it's so fast. Within two weeks, it can drop right back down to where I sold it for. But um, like my homes, I don't know how many cards I got for under like five bucks a piece. I sold them for like 60 ish. I mean, now they're worth a ton more, but I look at it kind of like just move on to the next guy but so yeah if you got them you want to hold on to them that's great i suggest trying to sell them at the right time or whatever you think is the right time like i don't know i don't know how much higher lamar can get right now unless he wins the super bowl but because i still think people worry about the whole running game and all that good stuff but i mean who knows he could climb and climb and win the super bowl i have no idea i mean don't listen but I tell you what, if I had a whole stack of Lamar rookies right now, because I've sold almost every single one I have 
And I still got like two small, like cheaper low end lots on eBay right now. But yeah, if, uh, I don't know, I would, for probably what you have into them, I would probably try to move them. That'd be me, but who knows? I don't know everything. It's just an opinion. I'm rambling on. I gotta go to work tonight. Haven't made a video in a few days. Just waiting for the other mail to get in this week. But yeah, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.